everybody. I'm Sundance programmer Heidi Swicker, and I am so happy to welcome you to today's screening of Hala by Minhal Bay, part of our U.S. dramatic competition. One of our great joys as programmers is discovering exciting new filmmaking voices, and one of the absolute highlights of this season was finding Hala. It's an exquisitely rendered coming of age story that introduced us to a character who is as sensitive as she is curious, who defies easy description or classification, but feels entirely real. We fell in love with her and we're so excited to share that experience with you here. I am beyond thrilled. She was at the world premiere of this incredible film here at Sundance. Please join me in welcoming to the stage the writer and director of Hala, Min Hao super surreal because I remember being here last year just for 48 hours, like literally I remember where it was, over there. I was sitting with my friend Lou Wang and we were both working on our movies. So it is incredibly surreal to be here. I think, you know, our job as filmmakers is to hopefully craft a story that when you come away from the picture, you feel a little less alone. Um, and it's been a very personal, story to share, a very long journey to bring you to here, and it's an absolute privilege to be here at Sundance. Thank you so much for being here, I hope you enjoyed the movie. And by the director of Paula, Minhal Bay. to write it because it was so drawn from my own life and um, 
Yeah, it's like kind of surreal to be here. Also, my mom knows about the movie now, which is really good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right in front. Okay, not to be dramatic, but this is my favorite movie ever, and it might be too early to ask about it, but do you think we could get a wide release? Because I think if I watched this like two years ago when I was 17, it would change my life like a lot. Yeah, this is the question about potential plans for a release. Well, I, that's not to me, but thank you so much. You sound, it's, it sounds like I planted you in the audience. <laughs> I did not do that. Um, thank you. Um, well, one of, the, one of the things about this film was really important was I just hadn't seen, you know, when I was growing up, I didn't really see this character. And it was, I really wanted to see her. Um, it would have made me feel less alone. And um, the hope is that when you, young women see it and folks see it, they, it resonates with them. I think, you know, her story is complicated by her culture and her faith, but um, it's a universal coming of age story, so I would hope, I would hope a lot of people can see it. Is a question for the cast, like how you worked, you know, integrating the director's personal story in this journey? Um, sorry, I am a mess. There's a lot of feelings right now. <laughs> <laughs> They're sick of seeing me cry, but um, it's um, I don't know, I spent like a week with Minha, we talked so much, yeah. um, and just really deep dived into the story and her personal life, and um, I feel like, yeah, we just kind of drew from that, and um, there was just this atmosphere on set, um, where we were all just open and listening to each other, and we all just wanted to do right, and you know, um, yeah. <laughs> do you, um, so um, for I think I'm, I mean uh, for me, Hala is is so personal uh, because I play Iram. You may not recognize me, but I'm the mom. Hi, <laughs> and. Uh, the reason why Hala is so special and why we could relate was because I've seen Erams. I've experienced Erams. Sometimes I've been in Eram. And uh, I wanted to fight for Eram. And that's why I think uh, we really didn't have to work too hard for this. It was something so close to all our hearts. And I come from India and it's a beautiful culture and I feel very privileged to be where I am and experience this freedom and stand here and talk amongst all of you. But there are Erams out there who are never allowed to. And um, I think that's why we wanted to do this and create this and feel Erams and feel Halas and feel Adha also. Uh, he, I know he was a dad who was a little strict, but I just feel that, <laughs> I just feel that when a story like this comes, which is more so connected to the human emotions, you really don't have to try that hard. It's all here. And that's why Hala is all hard. So it was easy, I think, for us to just relate. And thank you, Minha. You were spectacular. It's your story, but we lived it and we enjoyed it. And thank you so much. You are beautiful, and this is brilliant. Thank you. I uh, played a Pakistani American and a Muslim who I am, actually in real life. Uh, this film was a big challenge. Uh, there were so many shades. It was not, I think, not completely black and white. That was the best thing about the character. What we need to understand, I think, as, a, as parents, that we cannot live our life, again, vicariously to our kids, because they are completely different, gifted individuals, and we have to give them a chance. But at the same time, I think sometimes as kids also, we forget that our uh, parents are also human beings. And they're not always right, but they're not always wrong also. There's a certain way, but the, but the strange thing that I see in my culture uh, as an immigrant um, is just that once we realize that our parents, sometimes that our parents were right and we were wrong, we have our kids standing in front of us and saying, that we are wrong. So it's a full circle and I think we need to break that cycle and we need to learn actually whatever we have learned to put it into use and uh, change something drastically 
in our thinking. And that is very important. And that is what we've tried to show in this film. And one thing more, I would like to take liberty of saying this thing, because being one of the few, one of few men on this um, uh, hala set, I, uh, we actually, I think we, as we the people uh, of the United States, we take a lot of things for granted. And we are not basic enough anymore to travel the world, to have the true understanding, and to know the ground realities in the world. And I'm saying this coming from Pakistan because I lived there for 30 years. We had every problem that you can think of in our country, but one thing in Pakistan, but one thing that we didn't have, that I was barely in my teens, and uh, the people of Pakistan, they selected a woman, a lady, as the Prime Minister of Pakistan in 1988. Like 30 years ago, not just and here we are, in this day and age, we, I'm seeing la ladies, these amazingly talented women, they're struggling for a basic right. Can you imagine a person struggling for a basic right, which is already undeniably theirs, just by virtue of being born as a human being? So uh, I think we need to change our thinking. This is high time. Um, not at just a conscious level, but at sub subconscious level also, but this one will, uh, it will really help us. And we need to actually change certain things and engrave them better in our subconscious level, so that we can see the manifestation of all that we think in our daily lives. And I think we, need, we have this responsibility to make this world a better place to live for our future generations, much better than what we got, what we received when we came into this world. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Couldn't get couldn't get more different uh, from uh, Wilkins, for example. But um, it was um, a challenge. But um, I'm, you know, it's just like I guess you just dive into the deep end. I just I didn't really know what I could. I don't know what I could do, and I don't know until I try it. So I'm just I when Minhal gave me the opportunity. Um, I was like, heck yeah, let's let's try this. Um, and the story just so uh, was so deeply touching, and I just felt like this was such an incredible character study. And um, I was just really also I don't know the timing was great too. Like I was just really ready to do something like this. Um, that was from the heart, and. Yeah, so I feel very lucky to be given this opportunity. The, um, the actors, in any way. I think the hardest pro part of the process was definitely the writing of it, because I had to, when you put it on paper, you're like, okay, this is real now. And it was a process of like becoming more vulnerable with each you know, pass on the script and incorporating more details from my life and being, you know, having more of my family in it. And by the time I got on the set, there was definitely some nerves because it was, you know, the nerve, the same nerves of like something manifesting that you've been thinking about for so long. But I think I came out the other end feeling like I did something that I didn't think I could do, which was awesome. And I'm really proud of how the film came out and um, all the performances and every, I mean, uh, working on this set was a dream. I, I, I don't think it was challenging in that way. It was, it was like, I cherish it and I really miss it. Um, but yeah, the hardest part was in putting it on paper and realizing it that way. Good to meet everyone. Um, but there's one important person that I really want to acknowledge. My name is Jana Babatunde. This is Aaron and Clarence and Jamal. We're part of the Overbrook crew. Uh, but I really wanted to point out that Minha and the cast, there's been such a family element here with this particular production. and. I believe it shows up on the screen. Uh, Overbrook Entertainment is a family business and is centered on the idea of really bringing artists that maybe wouldn't have the voice or maybe not have the opportunity to tell such a dynamic and amazing story to bear. And that work has been driven by Mrs. Jada Pinkett Smith. <laughs> Thank you. So, thank you.